my channel. So it's almost Christmas time. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to do a, another diaper change. Try to make a better qual quality video of showing a diaper change. I have some clips of me opening some, I guess you could call it fan mail. So that will be added in at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. I really appreciate any mail that y'all want to see in Christmas cards or anything you'd like to see in. Um, I really appreciate it. I like getting mail and hearing from the viewers. So that being said, let's jump into it. So I'm going to go in the other room and attempt to hang the camera to do a better quality video of a diaper change. Let's hope it works out. So to start a diaper change, you get your wipes. Today we're using the Parents' Choice. You get your pull-up and you get your changing mat. Today we are doing the change on a toddler bed and I have the cam camera at hopefully a better angle to where this will be a better video than the last one. So for today's video we have the Parents' Choice Wipes, we have a Parents' Choice Pull-Up with rubble on it. And a changing mat. Now all we need is the toddler. This is how to change a baby's diaper. So, you know, lift up the baby's bottom, put the other diaper underneath it, and then pull on the tabs, take the tabs off, and then you're going to put the diaper back on, secure the tabs, secure the other tab, make sure yeah, it's not sticky on their little legs. I learned a new tip that I didn't even know when my son was a newborn baby, but little boys, their pee sometimes comes up and will spray you. Well, here's a tip. So, I'm going to try to demonstrate on a doll. So, okay. This would be like the edge of where their diaper is. You're just going to pull up their little onesie, whatever they're wearing, and you're going to wipe like here around their belly button and wait a minute now this will cause them to pee before you change them so you're just going to wipe their around their belly button area above the diaper and then they're going to pee you wait a minute till they're done peeing and then go ahead and change them this will prevent them from peeing on you because their little fountains can sometimes pee on you but that's the trick, and I didn't even know this. I just learned this. But that's the trick for little boys. So this is how to change a baby girl. You're going to bring the diaper up, hold it in place. Okay, here's a boy. You're going to pull up their butt, wipe around their little area. And you can, like, wipe their belly button first, like I was saying, so they don't pee everywhere because they do have little fountains. Um, fasten the straps, hold the baby's butt up for a girl or a boy, wipe each side, fasten the tabs.
I received this package in the mail today from a viewer who watches my channel, and I thought I would show it on here, um, open it on here, and read the card. So when I first got this, I was like, hmm, who don't know in Nashville, Tennessee? I figured maybe it was someone from this channel, and sure enough, it was. So, inside is another envelope. It says, Miss Bigum. How sweet to call me Miss Bigum. <laughs> so, inside is a Christmas card. It says, Mary E. Bright. Wishing you a holiday season full of smiles and love. Merry Christmas, and please be blessed this year, and many more to come, Brian. That's so sweet, Brian. I love it. Um, he also enclosed a uh, Amazon card. I was really surprised to see this. Um, I knew I said that you could send me Christmas cards if you wanted to, but I didn't think anyone would actually give me an Amazon gift card. That is so sweet. I'll try to use this maybe to purchase a better microphone since my microphone's not working anymore or um, better filming equipment or something to better this channel. And also there's another card and it says thinking about you. I hope you don't mind me reading this. I'm not gonna give out any personal information. But it says, I don't recall exactly how I came across your YouTube channel, but I'm a longtime fan follower. I do thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you do, for everyone keeping you and your family in my prayers. I'll hope to hear from you when your time allows. I understand you're very busy. Take care. It says, I'm sending a smile your way today. Thank you for all you do, Brian. That is so sweet. I really appreciate that. That is so kind of you. I will put these Christmas card, the Christmas card, probably thinking of you card too, on my wall with my other Christmas cards. I really appreciate that. Um, sorry that I don't um take time sometimes to answer everybody. Sometimes it gets overwhelming with followers of the channel messaging and also my friends messaging back and forth and family and sometimes it can be a little overwhelming and sometimes I just feel like I'm on the phone too much and I need to take time with my son but I'll try to reply back to everyone who messaged me and answer back to your comments. So with this pack I've also received uh, another card. I'm going to show it from the back so I won't show any addresses. Can open that up. This one says Merry Christmas. With all good wishes for Christmas and the new year, Merry Christmas, Casey, Mike, and our reptile family. And Booty the Tika, with all good wishes, health, happiness, love, and joy. This card comes from California. Thank y'all from the cards from California and from Tennessee. I've been to Tennessee, but I've never been to California. I'm going to hang these on my wall behind my Christmas tree. One more thing before I hop off. Two ex-friends of mine um, also have YouTube channels. They're not creators yet, but they have channels. And both had a disclaimer about because they gave each other presents, they're they both had a disclaimer about how the cat that gave each other presents doesn't mean they're trying to buy anyone's friendship. And I think this was pointed at me. 
because I once said that I didn't need anyone to buy my friendship. I just don't like if someone's going to give me give me something to later throw it back up in my face when they're mad at me that they they helped me out and they did this and that for me. That being said, I don't care if someone wants to give someone a present. Friends can give each other presents. I didn't mean that friends can never give friends presents. Like if anyone on this channel wants to give presents, that's fine. I'm not saying that anyone has to. You don't have to buy my friendship through giving presents. Please don't feel like you have to like buy friendship by sending presents. You don't have to send any.